quite often I'll go to the Goodwill in some hope that I'll find something that I'm looking for at a really great deal. And so I've been looking for focus pads for a couple of months now at the Goodwill. And sometimes, you know, I just get that feeling that is the time to stop the car and go in. So I got these for $3. Um, for a while now, living in Portland, I've looked for training partners. I've met people that like to talk tough, uh, but like to talk about firearms. And they almost sound like, you know, they want to have sex with their firearms. They almost sound like they want to build a firearm big enough for them to put part of themselves inside. Now, I'm sorry if some people find that a little bit dirty uh, of a uh, description and that by no means is meant to be something labeled towards people that appreciate firearms or are good at using firearms. But there are certain folks out there that have kind of a sick, um, sadistic uh, nature to them and it makes one wonder if you know they actually have a actual sexual thing uh, for firearms. It, it really does uh, stroke one's imagination. Uh, individuals like 8-Digit PDX and, and others, uh, you know, what, what they may do with their spare time. Maybe not with firearms, but maybe things that look like firearms. It could even be a toy. It can be a squirt gun. Um, it could be a, uh, uh, it could be a cake that looks like a gun that just happens to drive them over the edge to the point where they literally rape the cake. Um, but these are focus pads, and I'm looking for some people to train with in Portland. I've looked for, uh, training partners for some time and there's a lot of different reasons why people keep their distance hey you're that homeless guy hey yeah we heard you like to steal tools hey yeah we like we heard you like to eat babies oh yeah oh well yeah we heard you're playing a part in the new world order oh oh we heard you work for the devil oh you're the worst thing on the world oh yeah we heard about you answering you're one of those controversial speakers but uh yeah um if there is any men if there are any men or women, or any, uh, I don't know what aliens I'm willing to work with at this time. But if there's anyone out there that wants to train, uh, maybe you could teach me some things, maybe I can teach you some things that you don't already know right now. There's a lot of things I'd like to be involved in uh, relating to physical fitness, relating to uh, self-defense. Um, it is physical exercise. It does stimulate your body and make your body feel good. Uh, when you accomplish something, when you improve at something, um, you know, especially when you're kicking and you're stretching your legs and you're working peacefully with another partner. It's not what you see on TV. It's not, you know, the UFC. It's not bashing in your buddy's uh, head. Uh, it's actually helping your friend get better and, and working with certain individuals um, to uh, be all that you can be. And I don't really mean to make too much of a reference to the G.I. Joe theme, but... Uh, you know, there are people out there that I've wanted to work with. Um, there is someone that I used to work with years ago. We've just become two different people. And a lot of my, uh, a lot of people that do train in the fighting arts don't respect alternative media. And a lot of them are gun-ho types that are pro-military and uh, pro-conformity and, and they're into violence. They're into destroying things. And so they have a certain dog-like mentality. I'm not like a lot of men that are out there on the planet. Um, and I, I'd like to find people that have a higher energy, if, if you have any idea what I'm talking about, that also understand the art of martial arts, self-defense. There's a lot of people out there that have a negative view on training, and I've, I've experienced it since I was a little boy. Since I was a little boy, long before I got into uh, alternative media, I was into uh, self-defense training. And I saw how my grandmother turned her nose up at it. I saw how other people turn their nose up at it, uh, that are more into, uh, you know, firearms, even my grandfather, uh, even my uncle, uh, other people that would just kind of act a certain way, my father, that's right, my father, uh, saying, oh, anybody can be Rumble, only the fuel can be as smart as me, as he attempted to go and do, you know, another verbal abuse tirade, simply because I was hitting the heavy bag, there, there's a lot of insecure men out there that actually seem to hate other men that are capable of taking care of themselves. And you got to remember, this is a world where it's become normalized for um, for people to walk around um, 
pretty much armed and dangerous and there's very few people that seem to be able to even have the confidence to take care of themselves in a confrontation. Uh, you see a lot of scared cops that reach for their gun that actually don't know how to physically subdue someone with I mean I know that there's risks out there I know that there are situations that could be really dangerous but there's nothing to be ashamed about if you can defend yourself and you understand the art of combat there's nothing to be embarrassed about in relation to that the problem is we don't have enough human beings on this planet that even know the the the, the first thing about how to throw a jab how to use a focus pad how do you how do you d increase your skills through the art of repetition? What does it mean for you know your friend to move this around and you to hit the target while it's in motion? Uh, can you think about how pleasurable that might feel when you can actually hit something like this and not even uh, have to see it, have a blindfold over you? You know, realize this is not about violence, but it's about actually developing a skill uh, and 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 not having your uh, enjoyment come from actually hurting someone and bashing someone in the face uh, but actually working on the art of striking similar to a marksman uh, striking a target with the rifle uh, many many yards away uh, the ability to fight with the empty hand is an ancient art and I would like to see more people that are on the spiritual path um, look at this as an exercise as a way to release energy and stress and as a uh, enjoyable act. There are other enjoyable acts on this planet that shouldn't be based in, in taking and, and shouldn't be based in greed, shouldn't be based in, in rage and hurting people. Unfortunately, a lot of people have forgotten what it's like to be human. A lot of people are living in a simulated reality. A lot of people are on Facebook. A lot of people are on the computer and they don't want to come outside and they don't want to actually have exercise with other people. Um, it's, it's a really strange world. Uh, it's not just a, an imbalance between men and women. It, it's, an, it's an imbalance between men. Even amongst the women, there's an imbalance. A lot of them have been taught not to, not to trust each other and to resent each other and to constantly compete and to basically resent each other. And it's like a sickness that our whole society seems to be suffering from. So this video really wasn't meant to get deep into society, but kind of mention that you know, as a male in today's society, it's difficult to find other men. It's not just an issue with women. There is an issue with finding actual men that actually appreciate training one-on-one, -on -one, or that anybody need to charge anybody $100 for a session, where two people go back and forth, and they help each other improve their skills. And there's some drills that I've learned over the years that I like to pass on to some other people. Uh, and so, uh, if you're in Portland, and you'd like to get involved in some physical training, let me know. We'll do it in the freezing temperatures, and maybe we'll film it. In fact, we will film it. But the likelihood of somebody in Portland watching this channel that uh, actually wants to get involved, uh, you know, I, I know I know one guy over by 92nd, he may, but when I talked to him over text message, he seemed to be more interested in, you know, belts and and the training part, I, I think I may have lost him when I just talked about training. I don't, I'm not sure he knew what I meant when I just said improve upon the jab and improve upon the punch. And that, that's not to be insulting, but to some people there's a disconnect when they're used to belts and colors and things like that. Uh, I don't know, maybe he'll, he'll change his mind and see outside the box of the belt. Uh, anyways, Alex Answer here, signing off.